What's up players, Warbots Tay Up In This Mud and welcome to day 22 of my Project Dwarves Overdrive, Project Dwarves Reloaded and as you can see I'm still finishing up the beards on my guys. Kinda wish I would have had them done today. What the? What? That's right, look look at what I found in my in my old collection of stuff. It's one of the first orcs I've ever painted. I think his name was Morglum Neck Snapper. Oh yeah, look at that. Pro paint job. Pro basing. Oh, yes. Anyways, I, I brought him out just because I was like, oh, maybe people would like to see something different from my... just from looking at dwarves all the time, but... Oh, boy. Ugly. Um, yeah, so I still got the rest of this horde of infantry waiting their turn, but I really wanted to get all of the the highlights and the eyeballs and, and the, the beards painted correctly so the, the the blondes are halfway done the gingers are kind of um, still in their first steps I finished painting these ten guys in the back including the musician here uh, with all the highlights painted his eyeballs did everything based and um, did everything for them so now I'm just getting ready to finish these guys beards do the highlights like on the horns get these horns painted up and paint their eyeballs in just like all the guys in the back two rows got their eyeballs and for the battle standard great great suggestion from one of my subscribers to put the to put a face mask on him so I, I tried to find one where you could still see his mouth because um, you know his expression is so priceless but just the fact that he's missing his nose is just really disappointing and frustrating and um, kind of kind of kind of angering but I, I had like no time to paint these guys today I was only able to get an hour in so far and um, I, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna get before the day ends and I do want to get this up when it's still November 22nd so um, you know what I mean I'm going to film this now and post it up now and upload it I'm gonna continue working so hopefully tomorrow for tomorrow's painting update you'll see that these guys have all their beards done, all their eyeballs in, ready to be put away, and then I can get to work on the rest of these guys. Hope your guys' painting projects are all going well and your painting challenges are all going well. Um, it does look like a lot, but I'm, I'm, really, I'm really counting on being able to whip through at least one or two more full squads by the end of the month here if it's taking me three days to do one. And um, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself and like I said the painting challenge was really only just for the battalion box So I've already finished that and I'm really um, just doing as much as I can now to get the rest of these guys done For a fully painted dwarf army if I want to sell it in the future Or even just to play with it, you know, it's just such a great feeling to play with a fully painted army So that's really what I'm going for with this um, Reloaded, Project Dwarves Reloaded kind of thing here. Um, haven't started on the war machines yet because I really wanted to just knock out these infantry when I'm really really totally sick of these guys that's when I'll start going into the the war machines but for now I can do a little bit more with them I think I can get through another squad or two maybe before I get onto the fun stuff like the slayers and the the war machines the cannons and the grudge thrower and the bolt thrower uh, it's Tartar Sauce 101 who suggested the face mask on the standard bearer so thank you Tartar Sauce 101 and um, if any of you guys have any suggestions or whatever for, for, for anything for helping me keep the um, creativity and the, the cohesiveness and, and everything of my boys, then I'd love to hear it. Always looking for ways to improve my, my game and my, and my projects and stuff. And um, I just want to thank you guys for sticking it out with me. I know for some of you guys who are like dwarves, oh, these guys are so boring, do something different like ogres or necrons or whatever's hot at the moment. But um, <laughs> one of the things that's keeping me going is that dwarves are so, they're so old and they're so in desperate need of a facelift and new, bo new models and stuff that um, it's, you know, it's kind of the, the, the sadist, sadomasochist in me that's like, I'm going to finish them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them look good, I'm going to give them a good paint job and make them look good, um, and I'm going to torture myself until I do it, and, you know, when I finish them, when I finished my battalion box set and I was looking at them I was I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed seeing them fully painted and so I'm just kind of doing the same thing here I want to get these guys done and put away and then um, I'm torturing myself but in the end when I'm gonna look at them I, I think I'll be really happy with the the finished result 
So, so thanks for watching and thanks for following my project. And um, I'm I'm really thankful that you guys are are sticking it out with me. And for those of you who've just joined the project, thanks for 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 jumping in. And um, like I said, continue doing your own painting challenges. Get your get get some paint on your own models. Um, the journey of a thousand minis starts with base coats on a single miniature and um, yeah that's it so I'm gonna get this uploaded and rendered and onto YouTube before midnight and then I'm gonna while I'm doing that I'm gonna continue with the beards hopefully these guys will be completed by tomorrow and um, yeah I'll show you what I've got in the next video take care guys see you later